The brain is that part of the human body that doesn't need any physical arm to get it damaged. But just with a simple, well-programmed mind controlling scheme, the brain is altered to start thinking in favor of the slave masters. For too long, Africans and African minds have been programmed with slave mentality syndrome, which has made us not to treasure ourselves, our own place, our language, clothes, our lifestyle, our culture, and everything. And right now, what we Africans need is a major brain surgery to correct all the deceptions and lies we've been told. Yes, you must welcome today to Cetra's Vlog family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, joining us on our live stream. We want to say we really appreciate everyone and thank God we're back with our video series this time around. I remain Jacket Tolu and Cetro, and I'll always have with me my 40 years B. This is Dar Cetro, the most handsome, yekebo, African issues, really pumping power. A fizzy husband, and as usual, I have myself beside my beautiful wife. I don't really understand why she started with all the quotations and notations about the African's brain that needs resetting. Yes, I have to start with that because just a recent, I listened to uh, Professor Munumba saying, Africa has always been a battleground. And the rhetoric that we see and the manner in which we ourselves are educated. My sister talked about education. But really, what are we teaching ourselves? It is fella Nicola Pokuti said, teacher, don't teach me nonsense. <laughs> and I'm suggesting to us that most of us, including most of us who are here, we are so very thoroughly miseducated that what we must do is to unlearn the burden that we have in our mind. Those of us who are lawyers, when, we, when do we feel happiest? When we cite an English authority to determine a land case in, in, in a Belkuta. When we talk about the reasonable man, we don't talk about the reasonable man in... Uh, in a keke, in a papa, we talk about the reasonable man being the man in the Clapham omnibus in London, England. That is how miseducated we are. And until we are re-educated, we who are present here are part of the danger to Africa. Because even in our unguarded moments, I went several years ago to the university at Harvard and talking to students and one of them said, that Harvard was the best school in law, in teaching of law. I said, whose law? Nigerian law? Ugandan law? Zimbabwean law? They can only be best in teaching their law, not ours. And I have seen we, we who are in this space of education, somebody spends six years at Unilag, and when they go to Harvard or Stanford for three weeks for a short course where they spend most of the time taking tea, he comes back and says, an alumni of Harvard. <laughs> so the time is now. The time is now to begin re-educating ourselves. Uh, we Africans, what we need is re-education. Mm. Re-education. And why do we need that re-education? Because we've been fed with lots of light. And our mindsets have now been tailored to see ourselves in a negative way, such that we don't even value anything about ourselves. Is it to talk about education? In his own words, he said that most of the people that have had like six years or four years education in African institutions, the moment they just go over to the other continent, like just say maybe they went to Advert just for maybe like three months a brief course or three weeks course, and it's most of the time, even what they do there is just taking tea and the light. And you see that when they come and they say, ah, I'm an alumni of Advert, I'm an alumni of this. They are not so proud of the African university they went to. That means we feel ours is not the best. 
the best is actually there and that's why uh we are not really it's it's what it's the way we define ourselves that the rest of the world will define us that's why our brain needs you to speak be... too much grammars and that is why i'm just looking at you what is there about your six years in african university that is to be bragged about comparing african university to foreign universities like comparing planet earth to jupiter you must be joking I'm only and joking. you must yes you must really be joking because uh what's actually works here is that your clientele and mr central they've mm -hmm. sorted in making just uh all the robots and their puppets here make the African youth that are actually the one building the systems all around the world so save, you save your, we are nothing save your yes in an African university for example in universities in Nigeria six years course I'm sure you must have been doing it for the past seven to eight years is that what you want to compare with a very outstanding university that is asking you to just come and drink tea and uh, discuss in an AC tight environment and get certified to be accepted into what we call the Nobla Kuntwa. <laughs> so you can see that Africans, you is you guys have no case. You have no case comparing yourself to the likes of the uh, you know outstanding and prestigious see what they call it prestigious university so what you have here is what we call mushroom university do they even teach you anything at all <laughs> how many professors do you have in Nigerian university or in african university people <laughs> probably might not even have a single professor and you want to prophesy so <laughs> you must be john Kessler. so how do you prophesy without having Please, professors we, we, uh i think uh dr bosu tijani the current uh Minister of Communications and Digital Economy right here in Nigeria right now said that they carried out the statistics of 5,000 persons, the best 5,000 persons doing well in tech around the world and they found that majority of those persons are Africans. So no. what do you have to say to that? What? As in, it is... You ask the question, let me answer, isn't it? What do I have to say to that? You know, Professor, uh, I was about calling him Professor, uh, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Bosun Tijani, you know, is working with data. And I don't believe in data like that. Why? Because when we are talking about, you know, when we are talking about prestigious universities, the data speaks for itself. I believe in live data. I believe in seeing people that have gone to such university and they have posted it on their Facebook. You need to see them sipping the tea. You need to see them, you know, take it, take it. You know, they are so proud about such schools as compared to the African Uruhuru University. <laughs> it's the value system. You see, this is actually what your clientele, or what do you call them, your clientele. You know them, the big ants. My very good mentor, Visu Tebekwai, will say that, uh, yes, that the big ants, you know, the big ants, your, your clientele, that that's what they've succeeded in turning Africa to. And we have to call a spade a spade, we Africans. Uh, the, uh, Professor Munumba said that they were the ones, who, it's Africans that they used, that was used for the first industrial revolution, which we all know. That is... When we went there building their farms in Europe. And right now, we are still the one being used for the fourth and fifth industrial revolution by what? By brain drain, talent visas. And you will see African presidents, African leaders, I, please let me be no. coming out saying uh, we are sending our, our, our uh, we are sending our labor for us to, to work at Saudi, to work at brain drain, more than day slavery, sending them out. All the ends that would have been used in bringing about the innovation and the modern technology that we need to run our societies now, they are being jackpashers. Africans. Jackma out. Africans, you are always crying foul play, foul play, when you guys are not playing anything. 
The last time you guys were arguing that, oh, my clientele, they were coming into your territory, they were packing your children, they were packing the able bodied men like Sardine, they were taking them into slave trade. Now, my clientele, the, the, you know, the, 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 the 1% of the world, they decided that they are not going to do that again because it's even not cost effective as an economist. I advise them that no, it doesn't make sense coming to Africa to come and bundle people and be taking them across the Atlantic Ocean and a large percentage of them would have even died. Instead of doing that, why not let them trek out of the continent of yeah, Africa yeah. themselves and smiling with the passport being stamped for international slave trade. And they are doing that and we are, you know what, we are not taking the, 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 we are not taking anybody by force now. My clientele have succeeded in allowing you to sign up into official slave, you know it's not slave trade, we call it neo colonialism. So you walk into it, we better your life, we transform your life, so you can begin to send in the valueless, oh sorry, the valuable paper monetary monglatosia. We it, and we call it dollars, we call it pounds, we call it all that. And you are using it to benefit your system, your family. Why are you laughing? Now let me tell you, what you do not know is that whenever we are talking of exporting uh, 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 human beings out of the continent of Africa to go and what continue the progression of the Western world, which is a continuation of the plan that was working then with their forefathers that were grabbed by force. But now we are not grabbing anybody by force. God even understand when you are willing, you are willing and able to work as a white collar slave. Sorry, as a white collar job man. So you become a jobber man. And you get there. And you know, the popular lyrics that they will tell you is that do it because of your children. Just do it because of your children. <laughs> Jackpot because of your children. Not about you. Your happiness does not concern the world. Okay? What concerns the world is that build a future for your children. In a what? Beautiful future. You know, In just what? travel out of this African society. Just travel to the Western world, settle down there, fight all your life to make sure you have the green card. Is it blue card? Okay, it's green card. Make sure you get the green card. And by the time you get the green card, your children become a second class citizen there. And their life is better. They can speak better English, forgetting their own traditional languages. And after all, what are you people doing to yourself? You import air, almost everything. You import toothpick, you import potty, you import rice, you import even chicken, you import chicken, you import broom, you import. I even see some people, they don't take Nigerian water. <laughs> they import their water on Jua. So you can see this, 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 these are the ways, these are the ways that you guys love to live in Africa. So if you look at it originally from conception, you guys need some surgery to be done on your brain. And because we do not want to render you into what we call cadavalosium, <laughs> so we decided that let us be managing you. So they have been managing you guys, making sure that Africa remains at par as a beautiful place that they can fly in, take resources that you people would have rendered useless, work on it and sell it back to you. <laughs> and you people are calling it... Oh, tito, 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 yeah. tito. Okay, uh, at this point, I'd like to say for every African watching, uh, we have to start this uh, reawakening right now. It's all about re-educating our minds. The worst form of slavery is what? The slavery of the mind, your mindset. When you, you are calling, you're seeing white and you're calling it from the eyes of your mind, you're saying it's black. That's, that's the worst. And because uh, Mr. Cetra's clientele, they've turned like, they've, they've made Africa to look like, is Africa not a jungle? Some persons will say, do you have toothbrush in Africa? Do you have, <laughs> do you no, sleep no, on no, the no, mat? Please, let me be, let me be answering you. No, no, no. Why should they not ask if you have toothbrush in like, in Africa? Since you spend your earned money in what in toothbrush, toothpicks. See, is it not logical? It's a logical question because you guys import toothpick, mm. you import broom, you import pure, sorry, pure water. <laughs> you see? You import, yeah. you import drinking water, they call it water, water. 
War. <laughs> Is it to talk about the dollar naira exchange rate? Do we need another man's currency to validate our own currency after 63 years of independence? Uh, Ghana after 66 years and Nigeria after 63 years. Then it choose because all this that you are saying is just history. Africans, all of the African countries, none of these countries in Africa have their currency higher than the dollar. Despite the fact that you guys are claiming you have resources, you have your resources does not transcend into anything. That is why a very, very funny scenario is playing out. Countries like the US that does not have any backing on the paper, ordinary paper, they just wrote one dollar, twenty dollar, hundred dollar. It carries more power, it carries more weight than your so-called currencies in your country. For example, like a country, Nigeria, because I've already, I've already <laughs> nationalized to follow my, my, yeah, my right. telling. A country like Nigeria that happens to be the, you know, the giant, giant of, of Africa. Africa. A dollar is now up to about 1,200. So you have to count 1, 2, 3, 4 to 1,200 thereabout of our own currency to exchange for just one dollar. Uh, hey, your dollar, your, your clientele, <coughs> they are the ones that actually need it. So because that dollar is just fiat money. It's, it's, if it's just fiat money and you people, your dollar, your, your, did I say your dollar, your Hong Kong, <laughs> your whatever uh, currency, your Naira is, is, is doing Naira Mali on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> your Naira is worthless, doesn't make any sense because you people have decided to make it worthless. Uh, no, no, it's all about, that's why it's such a thing like this, it's all about the value system, I esteem, what we value, because for everything that we do here in Africa, we believe we have to go to your people, that even is our system point. of education. Before you, you even we, go to your system of education, your boxers, <laughs> majority of people that are watching us that are from this part of the continent, Africa, a lot of you, I'm sure you are wearing foreign boxers, ordinary <laughs> boxers that you can you can train your primary school children to join together, cut and sew. You are importing it from abroad. You know what you are importing? Oriburuku. Oh, sorry. It's called Oriburukalization. You know, you know, you import boxer. You import in, even singlet. Singlet, in a way. You import it. Now, even, uh, what's it called? Uh, break on <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what the mean of break on <laughs> What they call it? Your your corset, your bra, your <laughs> you, you drink is here. Some of you call it laundry. <laughs> so you know your bra. You are importing it from abroad. You are only importing poverty because you what you are sending in the world of economics. You are making your money, large volumes of your money, to go out, and you are putting pressure on foreign currency, which happens to be majorly denominated in dollars. You are making it to be scarce because when too much currency is following another currency, that particular one that is being followed becomes a scarce commodity. So you people are helping my clientele to have a robust time with you guys. Now you want to mention education. I thought you see that's why I said um, uh, Africans, you people need brain surgery to be conducted on your medulla oblongata. Now look at if you see this school. You see this family, they say, oh, I'm taking my children out of this school to that other school. What's the difference between the school A and school B? No, they are teaching British curriculum. British curriculum in an African environment. That means already you're already preparing them for a life of interesting slavery tools. Uh, I, I think this is just... Uh, this. <clears throat> I am so sure that majority of those points are things that we Africans have to look into in depth because everything we're using here is just not ours. Yes, our curriculum is not ours. Do you have anything? Uh, uh, we are the owner. We are the owner of all the resources. Please but do you let me tell you. If you believe that Africa has anything, they do not, even as little as brain, 
They are, eh? Yes, they have decided to market their brain to my clientele. See, I, I have to defend my clientele because they pay me so much. You people market your brain as you are here. Tell me that if I bring $5 million, you will not leave this country. And go and settle down and change. Even when you are <laughs> when you are, when you are getting to the end of this country, they say, no, 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 no. So what's your name? You say, Toluani. Uh, to, to, uh, what's that your full name? Toluani. No. <laughs> By the time they give up five million dollars, they say, no, no, no. Change it to Kenta. Joke and Toluani is too long. Put <laughs> it joke. I'm sure she will say, I am, I am joke. I am joke lavender. <laughs> You must be kidding me. Uh, I, I think we should just come to the point that we begin to value what we have. And we should define ourselves. I will still continue to go back to what uh, Professor Mnuba said. that We need to define who we are. China right now is gaining, uh, becoming one of the first world countries. They were just right there, developing countries some decades ago. Because of what? They've defined who they are. No. China well, uh, has brain. Africans have decided to auction their brain. And my, my clientele have decided to buy the brain. Yeah, but this is the generation that we... That's why we're having the... Generation brain. of what? Is it generation of Jappa syndrome? Mm. You people are saying... You, you, you are saying generation of what? That's why I'm just laughing. Because a whole lot of Africans, they are ready, they are youth. You know, the statistics have it now that larger percentage of youth all over the world are concentrated in the African region. Yes, about now, 60 but this youth, But these so-called youths, they are running up on um, the continent. Brain drain. As in it's not brain drain. Modern this day is, slavery. This is enlistment for slavery. So that is the more reason why we need to examine our cocoon. Hey, no, 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 but you wouldn't blame them, by the way. Uh, yes, yeah, no, no, because listen, I'm going to, we're going to play a, a video here right now. What your clientele have done, the, the colossal damage they've caused here is too much than what we can get. You know why? Because we ad adopt British uh, system of education, uh, they want the white collar jobs, they are not going back to our traditional works, our values, our culture, our skills, our trade. So all these youths, they just feel once I'm a graduate. What are your, you are, what are your traditional works? What are the products from your tradition that can be sold to the world? Products from our tradition. When, we have when, in the when, fashion industry. When people are doing, when people, like Google, when people are like Google, they are setting up Google search and all those stuff. What of uh, what? what are you people developing? Tabata Molo Dry Rock. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. Is that is that a marketable product? <laughs> people will bring water and next you are seeing somebody abroad and the next person cannot see it. You people should work on it, fine tune it. Let me tell you, people are those, working on it. Those what are, are people like I told you uh, doctors that listen, those that have the power to make themselves see another human being in the water in the calabash, they should try and connect it to Wi-Fi so that everybody can see. What they are doing, you monetize it at least. If you want to use the biological power, make sure that it's given a product that the whole world can see, not only you. See, let me tell you, it all comes from our value system, our system of education, okay. what we place on it. So, that's why you see, like this guy you're seeing in the video now, he said he's been out of school for over 13 years and his certificate is burning it right now because all the jobs he's been saying are jobs that are meant for those that were not educated at all and they are just paying him peanuts let me say it that way and the white collar jobs are nowhere to be found so he was encouraging you that why not just go learn a trade and that's what we are saying we are living it over there they are going to be telling you montessori schools and all the likes right from now please hold on let me say my own right from now why don't you allow your children like I, for one, personally, I have a 12 years daughter, mm -hmm. and that my daughter, she's she's a creative, yes. Mm -hmm. She can uh, work with different things. Uh, so, uh, the other day I was talking to her, I told her, because she, made, she her talent is not in mathematics like that, like in knowing mathematics and all that. So, I was telling her, you have to be good at math, this and that. And she felt like, ah, I felt once I was not good at math, I was not good. I said, who told you that? 
Even if you are not the best in mathematics, you are a creative for crying out loud. You are even going to be employing those people that are good at mathematics. We are just telling you that you have to know this course subject so that when you begin to employ them, they are not going to be cheating. You should not say, do you mean it? I said, yes, of course. You are a creative. Look at Elon Musk. That's why their economy is growing. They can create. But right here, we are not teaching our children. I've employed the graduate before for crying out loud. All he tells me is, I'm, I'm a graduate. I'm, I'm a graduate. graduate. What's his value addition? No. What's what's he bringing to the table? Nothing. I'm a graduate. I'm a graduate. So beyond being a graduate right now, we have to have our African-centric system of education. Begin to think of what you can do with your hands, what yeah. you can create. Now, and yes, that me, is the re-education. Let me now say this. You mentioned about this young man whose video we've just seen. He's born in his certificate. He's still not the solution. So it's really coming because now he has gone to the university, but has he developed something by himself? Has he trained himself in something that is productive that so that my, my clientele will not be frustrating his life? You are saying that it's my clientele that frustrated that his That is life. what we are saying, that they should be able to come out with valuable projects, valuable thinking should help them develop systems. What of CC up by Dr. Mm -hmm. Tijani, uh, Boso Tijani, he came up with it, yes. People came up with pure water sachet, sachet water here. The other time we went to Dubai, we were seeing water, packaged water. Like the young lady it's... that are in Gary, granite yes. and uh, sugar. In a, in a cup and you know you, she branded it and it was fantastic so, so Africans you don't have to be blaming my clientele eh? because my clientele is only seeing that you people need brain surgery and because you are not ready to remove that muscle quantua that is in your brain which is making you to believe that there is a white collar job somewhere that will just be taking care of all the bills remind yourself about this we are moving into a more deadly period in the history of human. Hey, hi, I'm going to take over so many uh, jobs and the like. So the question now is, what are those cues that stands you out amidst the crowd that will make even AI to bow down to yes. the lyrics of your knowledge and to know <laughs> that you have the flow that can flow on board? Uh, so, I'm turning into music. <laughs> As in, whatever usefulness, whatever skill, value you can bring to the table that cannot easily be replaced that's what you should be seeking now and for crying out loud nature has endowed us the creator god has given each and every one of us that unique thing some persons it's music they build on it and they're growing with but the the, the in thing right now is most african you just want to blow and you see them you see them on no, they mean not blow they just want to arrive on the platter of gold they want to be touching dollars wearing yes. rings uh, wearing bling, they, bling. They, most of them it's it's good to be outspoken it's good to be to go into public speaking but they don't really maybe study it as studying public speaking or something they'll just start they'll just start uh, this TikTok. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah 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 ah it's it's not just about that what is that what's the value addition in that you should be able to add value to people, value that are needed within a civilization. That people, it's not just you being valuable, but it's your value addition, something that is needed. That's where you're going to be rewarded. You and Africans, because am I still an African? Okay, I'll check. You Africans, you do not have any moral ground to blame the Western world with respect to your predicament because you place yourself in such scenario, in such scenario. No, we yes, never place ourselves. Oh, George. Look at, look at, no, look at. George. You just mentioned your, mm -mm, your, your mm -mm. system of education. You have the power to determine what you want to study within the confines of your country, but you have decided to jettison that, to follow uh, this abracadabra of, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, American system of uh, no, who makes them British curriculum, and you are jettisoning that. Um, of wait before you please, please, wait now, wait now, because that was I say when we are talking about you people's misdemeanor, you people will be having pepper body. <laughs> now, now you, you, you have that in place. You import almost everything. In short, you import even the gods. You import even the gods. You import you, you import even accent. You can imagine you are you are African. You get into you travel just for two weeks. Two weeks, you know. Then while I was in the banking sector, uh, you see some of our colleagues. 
they travel just for two weeks, three weeks, mm. and by the time they are coming back, you are, you, are, you are giving us accents, you are trying to use your nose to speak, mm. whereas the nasal cavity of the Americans and the uh, Londoners and whatever has been designed to function that way, maybe because of the kind of food they eat on Jella. Now, <laughs> in Africa, that when we are talking, we open our mouth and you pronounce everything. Begiri. <laughs> Eba. And when you you know somebody that is, that will say good morning, good, and you just three weeks abroad, you say water. What is water? What is water? Water. Water. <laughs> pronounce. You know those are the ways of. By the time you get outside there, if everybody, if you guys are so proud of your continent, you are so proud of your culture, you get out there, you pronounce it the way and manner in which you pronounce it at home, and they'll be like, wow, I love, you'll be shocked. Some of them will be like, wow, I love that African guy. Ah, I, I love Mr. Can you remember, I love the can you remember the, the other house. day when mm -hmm. we went to Dubai, and uh, a Dubai citizen saw my hair, saw my natural hair, and said, wow, I love your hair, I love your hair. And some other persons in Africa, a, a man has met in Africa, then, is that why you are so natural? As if he was fighting me for being natural. As he, he said, is that why you are not having this or this one? I said, for crying out that you my husband. He's What's on, your business? He's on, he's on. And thank you for mentioning yeah. that of, the, of your natural look. You know, the funny stuff is that, just check, look, look across. No, no. Africans, you sold yourself out to the extent that you even import your own air. You don't wear African hair again. That is, you don't wear all this quick kiko, nicely twisted kiko that when they bend it like this, they will see it from Mongo. <laughs> and all you are interested in, you want to wear Peruvian hair, Indian hair. Uh, uh, what's the name? There was a woman. Air, a woman Brazilian said, hey, there was this woman, she was almost going as in maybe insane or something. She, she said her husband didn't give her money to buy a hair worth 350 a thousand era. That's about three hundred and fifty dollars or something. He said, "Is it not a mix that wearing wigs of five hundred thousand, one million, as in so look at this useless man? I'm telling you to give me money to buy." Care. And the next thing she did was to pour water on the bed. The bed as in, Can you imagine so that? that it so that shows the value you Africans have with respect to your own land. Mm. Mm. Who made all these things this no way? Let made me you, tell you. You made yourself. No, it's the puppet that your clientele kept to be, as in, it's the puppet that your clientele chose to be our leaders. Because we are not the ones choosing those people. So they tell them, this is how this is to run. This is the system of education. So is it me now that, that I'm here that will say, hold on now, hold on now, before you say you have paper body. Is it me now? <laughs> Is it, is it the, is it the, wait, is it the, uh, what's it called, what did you call them, is it the puppet that are determining the way you spend? You people have a loquacious way of spending. Eh? Loquacious, no more meaning loquacious. Loquacious. So, so much to catch it. Yes, now, you, you, you have a loquacious manner of spending. Yes, you spend wood, 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 wood. You tell it like an intellectual. <laughs> Now, you people, the way the manner in which Africans spend money is highly repulsive because you import, you spend money on things that are produced outside of your continent, thereby making your industry no, to no, die. No, you know, no, is, is, is it the corporate? Is wait, it the president? Wait, no, no, is no, it no. the politicians that no, are doing that? It is you people. You're, no, you're spending all, all, all of them. Because I want, I want this point to come out. They are loud. They are loud. Okay. They like to show. Mm -hmm. I like to showcase themselves. God, especially the Africans that are from my tribe, the Yorubas. When they like to do a one bed too much. Oh, one bed. When it comes to a party, <laughs> if they have 15 naira, they will spend 150 naira to <laughs> do the before the last day. To create impression. Creditors will now be coming. And that's why we need to re-educate ourselves. And you see these people that could go to the essence of borrowing millions just to just to show off at parties, their children might not be eating at home. Their children might not be going to school. But what they value, what they place value on, it's that. So, so what is the cost of that? Is it my client that has the cost of that? Mm, it is your myopic measure and what? Your client, your clientele also have a major part in playing. They do not have any part. They have. They pay you people for it. It's a lie. Example, they they are the ones want. causing all the they are, the ones they are the ones causing. They are, it is Africa that are helping yeah. to destroy Africa. They are the ones causing the uh, kilompe. Example. 
<laughs> Your clientele are the ones behind the major crises and challenges, instabilities we experience here in Africa. They don't want our, our, our lighting system to be okay so that we will depend on them for every damn thing. They don't want us to... Hold on, is it my client? Is it my clientele that is holding you from fixing solar to your house to draw the power of the sun using solar to electrify or to supply electricity to your homes? No. But instead, you will prefer to spend that money to import generator generating set that will be causing ozone layer depletion, eardrum syndrome, crazy uh, pollutions of whatever. You see, Africans, we Wait. need to start thinking all right. The pro did, I, did I just include myself? Okay, for now, let me include myself because very soon my British passport and American passport is being stamped. As I'm speaking with you, I've been paid to leave Africa. <laughs> to go and live somewhere else. You know, I, not like a slave, but at least I will have some freedom of uh, enjoyment of this at the expense of other Africans. Yes. <laughs> so that's the beauty of Africa. They pay one and punish millions. So mm. you guys. You need to wake up. Who are those that signed the bill for the importation of all this? Okay, is it, is it Americans that signed it? It is still your fellow it's Africans. It's the people, it's this. No, 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 you have to it's get it. It's still your fellow Africans. And they are the, it's, these are the more percent the, the bigger hands are using to control the I economy. Refuse to disagree. You don't refuse to disagree. Uh, don't let me miss <laughs> <stop. laughs> I refuse to disagree. See now, she is not about to speak your budget. She's not mix, mixing it together, Miss <laughs> Sock.